Hi, welcome to uh, lesson 1.4. This is our last lesson of unit one, and this is on trig graphs. So we're gonna graph sine and cosine, and then talk about um, how you can kind of move those graphs around or change them a little bit. Okay, so first we just wanna graph basic sine, basic cosine. And I have a little mini unit circle here to help us. We're just gonna look at the easy points. So like 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So sine, remember, is the y coordinate. So let's start. Sine of zero, the y value there is zero. So sine of zero is zero. So I'm gonna put a point on our graph at zero, zero. Now let's go to 90 degrees. Sine of 90 degrees is the y coordinate there is one. So we're gonna put a point on our graph for 90 at one. Then if we go to 180, we're back to zero. 270 takes us down to negative one, and then 360 brings us back to zero for y. So here's what the sine graph looks like. And it's called a wave because it looks kind of like a wave. So this is called a sine wave. Okay, um, let's do the same thing for cosine. So cosine, we're starting at zero degrees. That's at the value of one on the x-axis. So cosine of zero is one. So for cosine, we're gonna put a point at, whoops, zero, one, so we're starting at one. Then if we go up to 90 degrees, we're now at zero for the x value, which is our cosine. So cosine at 90 is zero. At 180, our cosine is negative one. 270, we're back to zero. And then 360, we're back to where we started at one. And so the cosine wave ends up looking like this. All right, so those are the basic graphs. Um, and now we're gonna look at how we can um, kind of analyze the graphs and use these basic graphs to compare to other graphs to kind of talk about them and talk about their features. All right, so analyzing trig graphs. We have kind of four main things that we talk about. One is called the amplitude, and this is the distance from the center of the wave to the peak of the wave. So that would be like this distance here. This is the center of the wave and then up to a peak. So the amplitude of basic sine is one. The amplitude of basic cosine is also one. Here's the center of the wave. Here's a peak of the wave. So it's that distance. Um, the period, that's the horizontal length of one full wave. So you want to go all the way back to where you're starting, complete the full shape of the wave. So for sine, a full wave starts at zero and ends at 360. So the period of a basic sine would be 360. And that's the same for cosine. Vertical shift, that's saying, okay, if you compare the graph you're talking about to the basic sine, have you moved it up or down? Or if you're comparing it to the basic cosine, have you moved it up or down at all? So if you move all the points on the wave up, you have a vertical shift, or if you move them all down, you have a vertical shift. A phase shift is moving all the points on the wave left or right. So if I took all these points and shifted them over to the right, then I would have what's called a phase shift. Okay, so we're gonna look at um, two graphs and we're gonna try to identify amplitude period vertical shift and phase shift. First thing you wanna do for this is identify the parent function. So that's which function are you comparing it to? Do we wanna compare it to sine or to cosine? And basically what you wanna do here is look at the shape. So sine starts in the middle, goes up, then down, then back up. Cosine starts at the top, goes down, and then up. So sine has that full like up, down, up, cosine just goes down, up. Okay, so let's look at this first one. We're starting up at the top, then we go down and then back up. So like right here, let me, right here, this is a cosine wave. That's one full cosine wave. 
It has the exact same shape as the cosine up above. So we're going to use cosine as our comparison function or our parent function for this. Okay, um, that's going to become important when we do vertical shift and phase shift. So uh, once we identify that, we can find the amplitude. Amplitude is the distance from the middle to a peak. So here's the middle of the wave. Here's the peak of a wave. So how, what was that distance? That was one, two, three. So this has an amplitude of three. Okay, period. This is the horizontal length of one full wave. So this highlighted portion, that's one full wave. So this horizontal distance, that's our period. So zero to 180 is a full wave. So our period is 180 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna start comparing to the regular cosine for the shift. So let's look back at our cosine. Cosine is centered on the x-axis, right? So it goes equal amounts up and down. The middle points are right on that axis. So use those middle points as your comparison. This one has the middle points shifted down one, right? The regular cosine, they would be here on the x, but for this graph, they're down. So this has a vertical shift of minus one. It went down one. For phase shift, the regular cosine graph starts with its peak right on the y-axis. This starts with its peak right on the y-axis, so there is no phase shift. And that might happen. There might not be one of these um, transformations. All right, so that's our first graph. Um, now let's analyze another one. So again, let's start by deciding which graph we want to compare it to. So this graph starts in the middle, goes up, back to the middle, then down, then back to the middle. So that's the shape of a sine wave. So we're going to use sine as our parent or a comparison function. Okay, amplitude and period, we don't need to compare, we can just look at this graph. So amplitude is distance from the middle to a peak. So there's the middle, there's the peak, but let's pay attention to the scale. So the middle is at 10, the peak is at 15, so our amplitude is a distance of 5, right? There's a distance of 5 between those. Okay, period. That's um, one full wave, right? So here to here is one full wave. And okay, so that's starting at 45. And then this isn't actually labeled. But think about if you shifted it over one, it would be 0 to 540. So this has a period of 540. All right. Now we have the shifts, so we're going to need to compare. So vertical shift. The normal sign starts, or the normal sign starts right on the x-axis. It's centered on the x-axis, right? So this center has moved up two on the graph, but each unit on the graph is five. So we've actually gone up five, ten. So our vertical shift is plus ten. And then phase shift. This is left or right. So this point on the regular sine graph is right on the y-axis, right? And it's shifted over, and it's shifted over by 45 degrees. So if that's 90, this would be 45. So we've gone to the right, 45 degrees. All right, um, so that's some basic info about trig graphs and how we can analyze them.